Thank you for tuning in for an update on access to health care issues facing our community. Until things settle down a bit, I plan to communicate with you, the Out of Banks community, through these short video messages when we have new information to share. My hope is that this communication will help keep you updated about what we're doing here at the Outer Banks Hospital and Medical Group as we recover from the pandemic, both as a hospital and a community. I know that most industries and businesses have been impacted and we're all facing unique challenges. The labor market, as well as the housing market is in flux and none of us is immune. Many of you have read or heard about the recent challenges at Outer Banks Spending Medicine in Mania. We've lost some providers there and we're working hard to restore primary care in that location for over 2,400 patients. The primary care shortage is challenging and its impact felt throughout our entire community. Although I'll provide some updates and good news about manual family medicine today, I want you all to know we're well aware that access to primary care is limited throughout our entire community. We have been and will continue to work to expand access to care in all areas. In fact, I will release another video message next week that provides an update on additional primary care that will open access for new patients in our NAGSED location later this fall. Before I provide an update for our friends and neighbors impacted by the loss of providers at Outer Banks Family Medicine in Manio, I want to provide a brief update on some post-pandemic changes here at the Outer Banks Hospital and Medical Group. Although COVID-19 will remain a significant health concern for some time, we have established necessary tools to manage testing and treatment. During the pandemic, we quickly stood up the Outer Banks Testing Center as a place for people to go for asymptomatic COVID testing and therapy infusion. At a time when testing capacity was not robust, the testing center provided an incredible service for pre-travel and pre-surgical testing, as well for anyone who just needed to know for any reason if they were actively infected with the virus. Additionally, the center provided an option to our urgent care centers, allowing us to help keep symptomatic and asymptomatic people apart and safe. The good news is that we now have testing, therapy, and other tools readily available across the community, and the dedicated testing center is no longer needed. IV transfusions have transitioned to oral medications that you can obtain at local drugstores. Just last week, based on CDC guidelines, we were able to discontinue the requirement for pre-surgical COVID testing here at the hospital. Further, testing for travel has significantly decreased. Also, the wide availability of home testing makes getting a COVID-19 test result quicker and easier than ever. Please know, we are still offering convenient access to testing, but effective next week, all COVID-19 testing performed by us will be handled by our urgent care centers in Kitty Hawk and Nagshead, at the Outer Banks Spending Medicine Center in Avon, and in our walk-in outpatient clinic lab here at the hospital. Now for an update. I have good news to share about our efforts to restore primary care services at the Outer Banks Spending Medicine in Manio. We are excited and grateful to announce that two primary care providers, Dr. David Worthen and Dr. Aaron Baker, will be joining the clinic. With the impending arrival of these two new providers, we are establishing a wait list for patients impacted by the departure of two temporary providers at the clinic in June. Dr. Worthen will begin on July 18th of this year and will assume patients currently seen by physician assistant Chris Handren, who is departing the clinic at the end of August so he can be closer to family. Dr. Worthen will also be able to add several hundred patients from the wait list in the coming months. Dr. Baker, who joins us from nearby Ocrico and has deep ties to Tarrant County, will begin practicing October 31st of this year and will build a full patient panel from the wait list. Dr. Worthen will have the benefit of working alongside Mr. Handren for a period of six weeks. And because Dr. Worthen will be on site this transition, no current patients of Mr. Handren will experience a delay in care. Once Dr. Worthen arrives, he will send a welcome letter to all current patients of Mr. Handren. If you are a current patient of Mr. Handren and just hearing this news for the first time, 
please know that we want to get this information out as quickly as possible. He is in the process of writing a letter to you to personally communicate his future plans and express his gratitude that Dr. Worthen will take exceptional care of you once he leaves. Although we're excited to announce two new full-time providers for the Manio practice, please understand that given the limited number of patients that a provider can see in a day or a week, as well as the volume of patients we expect to join the wait list, it will take some time to reestablish care for all impacted patients. For this reason, we are encouraging patients who have established care with another provider or have an appointment scheduled to keep that appointment until you're able to secure an appointment at the Outer Banks Family Medicine in Manio. Early next week, we will mail a letter to the 2,418 patients who were impacted that will contain specific instructions about how to get on the wait list to reestablish care. A phone number will go live on Monday, July 11th, and we published only for the impacted patient for a period of four weeks. Although the phone number will only be available to those impacted, we will publish a copy of the letter minus the phone number on social media a few days after the letter is mailed in an effort to be as transparent as possible about what we are doing. On Monday, August 8th, the phone line will open to the community and Outer Banks Family Medicine Manio will resume normal operations in terms of taking calls to establish new patients as capacity allows. This is good news for our patients who would like to receive primary care close to home in Manio. I hope this update is helpful. Still, I know some of you may have questions. We have established an inbox for questions because we believe we're the best source of accurate information. Please email your questions to info at theobh.com. That is I N F O, the at sign, T H E O B H.com. And your questions will be answered within 48 hours. Thank you for watching. I look forward to updating you next week about expanding access in Nags Head, as well as expansion efforts on Roanoke Island. Thank you very much.